Hi uh, guys, it's Charlie Tango1994 back with another YouTube video. Um, now it's the turn of a little Maxcom Apollo 16E. And um, the story attached to this is that this was the exact rig that I had as a teenager. Um, so it took me a while to kind of remember that this was this was the one because uh, it's been <laughs> many years. Uh, but to be honest, once I had it in front of me, it was kind of like, yeah, this is this is definitely the one. Um, I had a different microphone on it, uh, and and actually this one came with a with a busted microphone. So the one you see with it today um, is actually a brand new one from uh, the guys at Rocket Radio. Uh, I had to shell out an additional ten pound to get this one functional and uh, and resaleable. To be fair, um, I had to shell out as well for a power lead because I've had a few. Uh, this is the free pin with the kind of safety safety plug on it, the um, the white one. Um, so to kind of invest a little bit of money on this one, it came with a couple of other rigs that uh, I've already sold. Um, so uh, it needed a bit of investment just to uh, just to get it in in good order. Um, that said, um, it's working a dream. I have to say, uh, fairly standard and basic set so just the uh the channel selector um and the volume in the squelch uh this one's got a nine pin um actually no not a nine pin a five pin uh microphone so I, I didn't really have a replacement for that the one it came with was in pieces so um i actually put that on ebay and got about three quid for it in the end so um that money will have been used to to reinvest in in the microphone and the uh, and the power lead, but pleased that I got it. Um, again, I don't think it will go for much. Probably have it on for about twenty five. Probably won't even get twenty five for it. Uh, but it is a really nice clean radio. It's all working. Got the uh, the LED for the signal meter. Um, the minus ten dB button on the front, as I've said in. in the videos this week that uh, all of them seem to have a button at the front now <laughs> in this in this week's um, selection of CBs where last week I'd said that most of them have it on the back um, and I've had some good receive on it some of the guys in my local area uh, so I know it's all working done the standard test got myself a new little handheld which uh, I'll show you in another video I've got that set up in the corner um, just to, to do a, a two-way, just to make sure that it's on frequency, um, it's transmitting properly and, and is receiving properly. But yeah, no no doubts about that. And um, I guess the main thing about it is it's fairly small, um, totally functional. Uh, certainly would go in a car very good. So um, hopefully that, when I sell it on, that's, that's where it'll end up. And I do like the, um, the LED signal meter. Uh, kind of got used to the the, the swing needle uh, on most most rigs, but um, it does make it very clear uh, and it seems to work quite well. I can't sort of vouch for the accuracy of it, but uh, that's probably true of most rigs, to be fair. So um, I'm going to get this one photographed and listed up on eBay, and uh, we see what we get for it. So that's the Maxcom Apollo 16E. Cheers, guys.